We are live. We are live. We are live from Friesland. Hello, my friend. We're back. We're back again. We're back here for the uh... finale. Turn your blooming sound down. Oh, is that me? Oh my word. Who's that guy? We're, we're back for the final tour of the day. It's Sunday, the 17th of July, 2022. And we've come up to the, uh, well, it's a village really, the little village of Makum in Friesland. Uh, my sound is on. And we're going to take you for a little walk through Makum. Yes, it is the final of the Friesland tours for the weekend. It is indeed. I'm eating the bread and uh, we've, oh, do we have to pay? No, that's behind the sign is the parking zone. All right, okay. It doesn't okay. Mean everywhere. Good. So we've come up to Mackham. If you're joining us for the uh, the tour today, you're going to absolutely love this place. I've been really looking forward to coming here for ages. Uh, Mackham is it's over a thousand years old. This village apparently, and it was known as the gateway to the Zouder Zee because of the locks that were built here by the monks who resided in this area of the Netherlands. So we're going to walk down through the city, see the old town of Mackham. M A. K-K-U-M and we're going to see if we can have a look at the locks and have a look at the water apparently it's got the majesty of a Frisian town nice but oh, the Krizelichheit of a Frisian village ooh what a combo indeed so uh, do say hi in the comments because we're going to have a little walk and we want to say uh, hello to as many people as possible today we're starting in the south of uh, in the north of Macom. And if you want to follow us on the map, the place, uh, you spell the place M-A-K-K-U-M. And I do want to say a special hello to all the Explorer Club members. Caroline box -Trolley. Hiya, Caroline. Hiya, Jim Backer. Hiya, Alida. Uh, hiya, John. Hiya, Patricia. Oh, I'm so glad you guys could make it. This is going to be a very, very cosy walk. It's been really getting warmer today in Friesland. It's a lovely hot day. Can you see the... Can you see the gorgeous blue sky? Yeah, it's hotting up. We're on about 24 degrees now, which is nice if you're out in the wind. But uh, the bus we just had to take to get ourselves out of the... Uh, Harlingen. Harlingen. It was busy, wasn't it? It was about 40 degrees Ooh. Celsius on the bus. Super busy. So we're going to get walking now. And, uh, yeah, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the atmosphere of, uh, of Macum. Like I said, it's over a 1,000 years old. It grew in the Golden Age through its industry um, and it's most famous for its pottery and its lime industry. It used to ship lime out across the Netherlands. Lime's of course used in construction and building. But Macam is very famous for its pottery, specifically for its tiles. I don't know if you've ever seen these decorative Dutch tiles that you can get with windmills and lovely paint, painted scenes on them. But the, the company Tichelaar in Macam is one of the most famous companies for tiles. So today, we're at the home of uh, Maybe you've Tichelar. even got some. You might even have some of the, the Tichelaar tiles. How do you spell Tichelaar? I you think know? it's T-I-C-H-E-L-A-A-R. Uh -huh. um, so let's just take this all in and see what we got with us. We've got Debbie with us from Reno, Nevada. Hiya, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. Uh, Trudy's here. Trudy Vitterfein van der Poel. Hiya, hey. Trudy. Rebecca van der Linden's joined us. Rebecca, Rebecca. Morning, Rebecca and Carol Grillman Bosshart. Is everybody ready? Hello, Carol. Is everybody ready? Because we're going to start walking shortly, but we just want to do a little roll call. Jenna Wilson's also joining us from the UK. And Beta Geiger also with us. All the way from Ireland. Hello, Bay. Also, Lisa Street. Hello, Lisa. In South Carolina. One of our Explorer Ted Club Williams. members. Thank you for joining us, uh, Lisa. If you want to follow us on the map, uh, you can basically have a look on the uh, the map for Makum, M-A-K-K-U-M. This is the Townstraat. That's the Townstraat. T-U-I-N, yeah, exactly. T-U-I-N-S-T-R-A-A-T on the Townstraat. On. And we're now going to walk south, is it? Ooh, I don't... <laughs> Let's feel my inner compass. Yeah, we're going to walk... Oh! Hey! We're going to walk... <laughs> we're going to walk south into, yes. into town. South along the... Um, Lake Strat, B L double E K. Wow, look at this. Lake Strat, which Gorgeous means place. Bleach Street. 
Bleet Street, Is yeah. It? Maybe it's got to do with the old linen linen trade. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that a church? Oh, yeah, it it's is. the Dopes. The Dopes Gesinde. Oh man, I think that's like a one of the one of the many oh, Dutch wow, Protestant sects, the Dopes Gesinde. Do let us know if you are with us on the tour today. We're going to be walking into town, into Macam, and uh, look at this. Hopefully, you're enjoying the uh, beautifully rural feel that it's got to it but apparently a lot of the buildings are as majestic as some city building so we're gonna we're gonna get into Macam and see what the score is there is a, an old counting house an old var and uh, you love a good wow look at this massive window that is the biggest window shade i've ever seen that is a huge window isn't it <laughs> wow look at that god i bet without that on it gets absolutely scorching in there though good morning i should say good morning to Moira Varmadam. Moira is one of our members from California in the USA, one of our Explorer Club members. Hey, so Peggy's joined us too. Peggy's here as well. Hello, Peggy. Peggy did you get all to the way see from the Virgin. tall ships earlier. We did a show earlier on from Harling, and we actually had to do two parts because we it had ended a bit, up being two, yeah. A bit of a challenge with the internet, uh, but you can check those out on the Facebook we, page. We suspect that we got kicked off because of some music playing and and the copyright issue. We weren't sure. playing the music, but someone else. We're not was. sure. Let's walk in. Hey, look at this bill. Look at here, this gorgeous bill. Oh wow, nice man. Marianne Kisberts is with us. Sort of the thing that I'd like to draw. Vilma Feinstra says good morning again. Good morning, Vilma. Good morning, Vilma. You've joined us just in time. It's, uh, we're just slowly going into the centre of Macon. Bear in mind, most of these houses are original. Uh, houses, original. I don't know how old they'll be, but I guess between the years of sort of 1600 and yeah, I'm sure we'll see some names on a couple of them. A bit later. Fan bastards joined us. Oh, okay. Hello, He's Paul. Just his All the way from Colorado. Love to see my friend. And Leona van den Dam. Rockville, Canada Always is in the house. Good to see you, Leona. Heck yeah. Oh, let's hey. walk under. Look at this. This is so nice. It's a bit more of a, uh, that looks like a peaceful stroll now than up in Harling and a big crazy party. That was really crazy. Uh, so if you're with us, do let us know that you're here and uh, let us know if you're enjoying yourselves. It's always good to get comments from you guys as we're walking along the streets of uh, the Netherlands exploring. Today we're in Macam. I've been wanting to come here for a while. We did go. To, I did go to Vorkum, which is its sort of sister town just down the down the coast. But Macam is on the is on the coast of the old Zaurazee, the uh, the Iselmeer. Uh, it's very famous for its uh, it's very famous for its uh, water sports nowadays. But um, it was known as the Hi. entrance to the Iselmeer. Look at this one, 1643. It's for sale that one as well. Wow, still, really? Still time for it to be yours. It's super nice. Hey, we've got Ellen van den Berg Konings with us, who says. I live here, lucky me. Ellen, Ellen you are joking where me. are you? Can everyone say hello to Ellen, please? Ellen lives she, here. She just joined us. She lucky lives in Macum. Uh, Ellen, nice to meet you. My name's Bob, and uh, we hello. run the Dutch Way of Life. We are a global community of people from around the world who explore the Netherlands, your beautiful country, and today it's Friesland's turn uh, by a live stream community. Uh, experiences like this one so Ellen it's lovely to have you and if you've got any insider tips or anything that you think we should see on our roughly about an hour long walk through Macam then please feel free to share them in the comments and Adele will feel I'll be reading them out I'm reading the comments so um, so we're all here and we all get to chip into the experience there's uh, over 60 of us now in your hometown oh, Ellen nice. wandering around hopefully we'll all get sticking together hopefully we won't lose anyone <laughs> Good morning, Grace. Grace Mann has just joined us. Hey, brilliant. She missed the first part of Harlingen, but she's not going to miss Macam. Yay. Have we got any Frisian fans in the house? Are there anybody who lives outside the Netherlands who's a particularly big fan of the province of Friesland? I know we've got people from all over the world, in Canada and the USA and Australia and New Zealand who, who are from different parts of the country, but do we have any real Frisian fans in the house? If you are a Frisian fan, drop in a comment now and let us know your connection to this lovely spot, this lovely part oh, of the It sounds like it is a bit party now, actually. It's so wide and so vast. We've, we drove up here to, to uh, Macom and it's just like so much space, so much land. I love it. Um, Who have we got? I want to say hi also to Emily Tejaf, to half from the in the Philippines. Emily, and great Donna job Wilson Wiersma is also with us. Thank you for joining us, Emily and Donna. Yeah, Sorry, I'm still eating oh, my brooch. 
Look, it's a little fair. Oh. Wow, that must be the vase. Oh, yeah. Man, 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 let's put the binoculars on. Oh, Lauren, Lauren Hill says, I am Frisian at heart. Hi, Lauren. Lovely to see you all the way from the UK. We've got the whole gang on board today, and if you've just tuned in and you don't know what you're watching, this is a virtual tour from the Friesland city of Macum, mighty Macum, over a thousand years old, and once the gateway to the Zaurazee. It's one of the big uh, fishing villages and one of the big, um, one of the important villages on the old Zaurazee, which after it was blocked off became the, uh, the Isolmere. And I'm hoping to see lots of lovely Dutch heritage today, so stick around. Make sure you let us know where you're tuning in from, wherever it is in the world, because often there are people nearby you who are watching who you might have built a hook up with. Yeah, like Willem and Sherry in Western Australia, Albany. Oh, Willem Ross joining here. us. Hello, Willem. Good, good to see you all the way from Newport. Yeah, born John in... Parsons joining us from the UK. Hello, John. Anna Kadato says, I was born in Leovarden, not far from here, Indeed. also in Friesland. So we've got a little, looks like we've got a kermis in the town. Yeah, right? cute little kermis. So Johannes is wondering where's the party at? Well, there's a little look kermis over there. Look at this little house. Let's take a little look. So this is the, what's this, the Turufmarkt. Of course, Turuf is peat in Dutch, and the peat used to be a huge industry in the Netherlands. Um, I should do a video about that, about the peat industry. It was, of course, used for heating. People used to buy heat and um, uh, buy turf. For heat. burning? Yeah, for burning and, and put it in their fires. Oh uh, man, we've got to have a walk down Carol Wheelman Bosshart says, I love Friesland. My husband said my family ha had to come from there. Mm. Oh, my husband said my family had to come from there. What a weird she name. She loves it so much. I'll just show you this. The name of the street? Yeah. Drink Marcus. You know what that means? Hook. Does anybody not, can anyone translate that from Duck? That is a weird, what a weird name for a street. Something maker. Who wants to translate that? Because that is a strange name for us. We're going to have to find out why the street is called that. How weird is that? So we're in Macum, if you've just joined us. Macum in Friesland, in the north of the Netherlands. And we're having a virtual tour for our members across the world in the Dutch River Life community. Which other fair souls do we have with us on our... Adventure through this mighty town in the north of the Netherlands. Rebecca van der Linden's with us, with Corney. Hi, says, Corney. They plan to spend as much time as possible in the Netherlands as soon as they retire. Yeah, baby. Good to see you We've guys. Got Shell Gooch with us, uh, also loves Friesland, um, only made it as far as Leovarden oh, when they were here. Nice place, though. It's where Annika was born. Annika yeah. Datta, one of our club members and uh, community members. We've also got Mona de Brown, who used to live in the beautiful town. Indeed, nice. lovely to see you, Mona. Sweet. Can I just show you this, though? We're just outside the Vaag. We'll go and have a little look. The Vaag, by the way, the, the English word, I think, is a counting house, or the, 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 the town's the weighing house. They used to weigh the goods there before they send them to market. Uh, we'll go have a look at it in more detail shortly. But just look at this view down the, uh, down the Tour of Marakt in, 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 uh, in Macon. Hey Bobby, a few people have commented on the Proke Marker. I know, isn't it a weird name? Hook. What have they said? Uh, um, Ellen van der Borch Konings, I love it, she said, Make a wig street. Yes. <laughs> wig Maker's Corner. Wig Maker's Corner. Yeah, wig oh, yeah, Hook corner. is Corner. Proke Marker's Hook. Wig what Maker's strange Corner. Name. Brilliant. You find that a lot of the Dutch street names go back into history though, so I'm sure that maybe there was this was the area where the wig makers of Macum lived. Did uh, every city have a wig maker? Well, of course, That's back in the day, people wore wigs, especially the bourgeoisie and the aristocracy. So yeah. Macum was a very wealthy town in the, in the Dutch Golden Age. So I've got no doubt that wig makers were certainly called for, especially those who might have been thinning a little bit on top. Look at that gorgeous house there. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Macum, by the way, if you've just joined the live tour. And if you're watching the replay, just pop in the word replay and let us know. We try and reply to as many people as possible while we're on the live stream. And... Uh, our job is essentially to explore and uncover what we call Hidden Holland beyond Amsterdam. And that's what we're doing today on our day two of the Friesland road trip. This is fun. So, check it out. This, is this the Vaag then? Is this the counting house? 
Carol Mulderego says most of my ancestors were from Friesland. Hiya, Carol. That's interesting. Thanks for sharing that. That's cool. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, yeah look, this is the uh, counting house. So now we're on the Vach Steig. And the Vach is the weighing house. And Steig is like a it's, street. Yeah, it's Steig. As far as I understand, it, Steig is like a little street that goes onto the canal. Mm. Look at yeah, okay. That's amazing. So that is on the front of the counting house in uh, Mackle. Looks like different different coats of arms for different families. What a beautiful uh, piece of Dutch heritage. I love that. I love that it's still there. I love that it's been very well maintained. Maria Morrison has just joined us just in time for the live. Hello, She's Maria. Very happy. Lovely to see you. We're just having a look at some uh, Dutch heritage here in Mackle. Park. And Patricia Moll is watching from Michigan and says, fantastic tours this weekend. Thanks. Thank you, Patricia. We appreciate hey. it. Diane Redyke says, wow, you guys are all over the place today. I know, Diane. We certainly I are. I feel like I'm uh, spinning on the spot. But we're having a nice, gentle walk and through Yvonne Mackham this Lynch afternoon. Yvonne just joined us. Yvonne's here. Hurrah. Yay. Lovely to see you guys. Yeah, like I said, nice, gentle walk through Mackham today just to take in the, the atmosphere of this little Frisian town, once very prosperous and wealthy in the Dutch Golden Age. Uh, look at this little back street town there. Sorry, back street in the town here. Oh, that's the Achterstraat. And then this, I guess, is this the Forstraat? Yeah. Should say hello to Yvonne Johnson as well. She's just joined us all the way from the USA. Hey, Yvonne. You are uh, one of our club members and also, I think, a very long time uh, Tidwell member. We've got tons of people who've been following us since since the beginning, back in 2016. And uh, it's so great to have so many people around the world who enjoy what we do. Look at this, Adele. Uh, oh, oh, my word. Nice to be by the How water How gorgeous again. is this? That's what they say. They said it's, Macum looks a bit like a town. It's got the buildings of a town, but it's actually yeah, a village. Yeah. And it's very quiet. Oh, it? so it's such a lovely, lazy, warm Sunday afternoon. Check those. Beautiful houses out. People sat alongside the banks of the river. There's a lot of people. Actually, it looks like nearly every house has got someone sat outside now. I look with the sun uh, parasols up. Oh, there's a little boy there looking all wet, like he's just had a little hop in the water. We're just looking across here now at the, over the water at those uh, those three spectacular buildings. Look at those. Two step gables and a mouth tooth gable, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, Leona says, loving the summery outfits. I'm having to change as the day heats up. I had to bring loads of different clothes because I just didn't know. It's really hard to tell how hot it's going to be, even with the forecast, or if it'll be windy. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust to the weather. I, uh, I started to overheat a little bit in Harlingen, so I had to um, adjust because I don't want to be losing my patience from heat. That's it. We don't want that I've again. got some shorts on as well. <laughs> so we're, we're walking over the bridge now, and um, like I said, uh, uh, Mackham's got these locks. So back in the day, there was a, there was, there was a community of monks who lived uh, here, and they built these locks at Mackham, which basically stop the seawater getting in because the Zaudersee, which existed before the Isselmeer, which is what the body of water is where, where Mackham is situated, um, the Zaudersee was seawater, it was part of the ocean. That's why you get all these villages around the Zaudersee that were central to uh, the growth of the Dutch Republic and the trading empire of the Dutch East India Company. So uh, places like Genkhauser and Horden and Maidenblik and whatnot. And on the other side, you had here Harling and, and Stafford and um, and so, uh, Mackham had the locks, and they basically controlled the gates to Friesland and the gates to the Zauderzee, and the locks are still in existence, so we're going to walk up over there and have a look at them, but this, this is definitely worth a look. Look at that. What a beautiful building is this. And this is just sort of remnants of the, uh, the, pres the prestige and the prosperity of Mackham, I guess. Look at that. We're going to get a quick 360 on this bridge. Yeah, for sure. What I'll do is, what, should we just walk a bit around here? If you're enjoying the virtual tour from Mackham, by the way, we always love it when you put like a little bit of feedback in or you 
put a little bit of a comment. This is not a passive video, it's not a pre-recorded video, it's a live video and it's an interactive video. It's, it's an opportunity for you guys to share your experiences and your thoughts and even though we can't speak with one another, uh, you know, like you're not stood here necessarily physically talking to me, uh, you are with me in spirit and I will read as many comments and we read, will read as many comments as possible because we want to give you guys the opportunity to... Uh, to interact with and get immersed in the experience. So, uh, good morning, Lucia Hawes, lovely to see you. Karen Runnels, new and housing, is loving the gables. Yes, sweet. And Janet, Janet Kempenar Myers, yes, I'm talking about you, Janet, lovely to see you. Uh, <coughs> just really pleased that you guys have joined us here in Mackham. It's, it's what is it, just, just gone 4 p.m. So yeah, 20, 23 minutes past four, so it hasn't just gone 4 p.m. Um, but we're going to have a walk round to Mackham. Which way are we going? We're going to walk up this here, way. and I'm hoping that we can go... Because Mackham's famous for these locks. Yeah. Which basically keep the water in and, and out, as it were. In and out, and depending think, on... Uh... And I think what we can do is we can walk up over the locks at Mackham, and uh, we might be able to then see onto the Isomere, which would be quite cool. Yeah, because uh, Mackham is actually on the waterfront, isn't it? That's it, yeah, it and is. It has a beach, has a boulevard. Um, it's it's fairly famous for the beach. It's a, a popular beach location for people in the area. I think that was what our Airbnb lady told us last night. She we did, stayed yeah, in, big water sports We stayed in Snake, S-N-W-E-K. Interestingly enough as well, we've got a lot of members both in our club and in our community, um, mainly from Canada and from the USA, who have family roots here in this area, here in Macon. We have one of our members, Karen James from Oregon, who, um, whose family have their roots here. And we also have uh, another couple of members. So if, you've, if, you've, if you're the same, if you can relate to that, if you've got family roots here, maybe you live outside the country in uh, the US or Australia, then do share your comments because a lot of people use our videos and our live tours to reconnect with people uh, around the world that they maybe have lost contact to. I know a lot of our members have not only made friends but have found family through watching our tours and yeah, enjoying yeah, our yeah. experiences. It's so what connections you can find. That's the beauty of uh, this virtual tour, this immersive experience. We all get to contribute to it together. That is Hotel de Prince. I've heard about this, Stelly. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How have you heard? I, well, I think it's a very old hotel. If I'm not mistaken, it should be right on the water. Mm, well, we are next to the water here. Oh, look, it's got a nice terrace on this water side. Carol says, grab your bathing suit for the beach, Adele. That would be nice, Carol. Unfortunately, it's such a whistle stop tour, there's no sitting down and beaching. I was thinking that we might come back up to Friesland. I highly recommend a trip up here. It's very different from the other parts of the country. It's a vast landscapes, lots of wide open space up here in Friesland. Wow. And in each of the villages shares a similarity, but yet has its own sort of uniqueness. Uh, there's lots of space, lots of land, and then little farms peppered around. And to drive through Friesland is is really pretty, really nice. I think we're going to walk over. The, these are the locks that we well, were talking about. We could go on this. Uh... Look, they're closing them. Can you see? Yeah. That is the lock. Well, go somewhere where you can actually see it. There you go. Look, it's closing up now. Maybe a boat just came through. How cool is that that we've got here on time? Boom. We've got Cheryl Watt as well who says... Nice view up here. Oh. Let's walk down into the town. Yeah. Oh yeah, we do can. Do you want to have a, just a yeah, quick look there? Yeah, yeah. We've got Cheryl Watt who's with us who says that uh, her dad's family is from here. Braxma is her dad's family. If you want to uh, have a shout out or you want us to mention your name in the hope that there's maybe some people out there who were connected to you, then do feel free to drop in a comment. You're watching live from Macomb. So which bit of, the, let me just have a look, which bit of water this is, or do you know? Uh, well, have a look, I mean, it's interesting, because if you look out there, that takes you to the Isomere, so that takes you out to the water, but in between here and there, there are sort of little islands. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's not, the, not, not fully the open water just no, yet. No, it's this not fully like the open water. A lot of harbours here. That's it. And then further down that way, it goes out to the open water. Can you see where that ship's coming from there? Hey, Cor boat. 
Corrie Smith's left a nice comment. Have you seen what she said? I did. I spotted it briefly. That's lovely, Corrie. Go on, it? do you want to read it out? Absolutely amazing, experiencing Friesland through your eyes. That is great. Oh, Thank you so much, lovely. Corrie. We appreciate that a great deal. We're going to walk into Macklem now. Have a look over there from here. Yeah, look, this is great. We're going to walk into town over this bridge. This looks like it's a swing, swing bridge. Yeah, here, look, it? you can see the um, circular tracks that it spins around on. Great. And, uh, by the way, if you are watching and you haven't uh, dropped in a comment yet, please do so, otherwise we won't know you're here. Uh, on the tour in Mackham and then we won't be able to say hello to we do try and say hello to everyone because it is a community driven virtual experience here in the Netherlands and if you don't know what we do we essentially travel around the Netherlands at the behest of our community and, and visit locations that are requested by the people who are part of our Explorers Club um, that's our subscription club of people who want to get more involved in our tours who uh, want to sponsor our uh, tours and our experiences but also want to get the chance to request places in the Netherlands that they'd like to see uh, and Mackham has been requested by very many people so we're here today uh, for you guys for the Explorers Club because without you guys we wouldn't be able to do this uh, and if you would like to become part of the club then you can join for less than 33 cents a day uh, and that means you can join on premium tours which we don't show on Facebook you can join our monthly Dutch History Club and you can join our monthly meetups where we hang out with people from around the world and talk about Dutch stuff. And you can request your own heritage tour. Indeed you can. Oh, it doesn't have to be heritage, maybe you just want to maybe send us somewhere. Maybe you just want to see somewhere in the Netherlands and you've never been there before. That and is you want us to all go together. And that is really what virtual travelling is all about. It's about you being able to see places uh, in the Netherlands that you might not otherwise be able to see. So here we are in Mackham. Hey, Lotia Harza said sat right there in 2000. That is very that cool. bench we just uh, stopped next to. Bob de Groot has joined us. Hey, Bob, we're just look, hey. looking over the harbour at Mackham, isn't oh, that a look sight? Look at the view, it's beautiful, man. That is a sight for sore eyes, Coco man. Coco Loco's joined us from Florida. One of our club members. Hello, Coco, lovely to see you. Speaking of a heritage adventure, we did one for Coco as well, that was great. Oh, I don't think you No, I'm just having a look, taking a view over here. Can you guys see that? Could that be a postcard or what? Probably is a postcard, to be honest. The leader says amazing shot of the village. What you have to, well, well, we have to remember to do is uh, once you've walked somewhere, remember to look backwards as well, because often it's a totally different view and one not to be missed. Uh, Reet Algemis and Spranik has said, "Da worden mooi yachten gebouwd." Interesting. So, so pretty yachts were built here. If we just look a bit closer, that's amazing. Have you seen this though? If we just look a bit closer, you can see just behind the bridge, the water line seems to split into two. And look at that view there with the house reflecting on it. It's just such amazing. It's not only aesthetically beautiful, but it's such fantastic engineering. And that's what we sort of see time and time again here in the Netherlands. Is ingenious uh, ways that man has interacted with nature and created. Uh, and spaces and uh, opportunities for people to live more enjoyable lives essentially you know so we've got flowers and we've got water and i love that about the netherlands beautiful should we keep going yeah i think we're going to go straight on here delhi so if anyone wants to uh, research hotel de prince in Macum, i'm sure that this hotel has some like certain significance or some sort of historical uh, significance but um Maybe you could research that for us if you're watching live. Ria Davon has joined us from Acton, Canada. Hello, Ria. Lovely to see hey, you. And Juanita Art Gomez has also joined us from Miami Springs, oh, Florida. That is so cool. Juanita's a, one of our club members, of course. Hey. So very extra special welcome to you. <laughs> so nice that you could join us. We've got people from all over the world, from uh, USA, from Canada. Australia, even from the Netherlands. I think we had someone from Macom, didn't we, join us? I wonder if she's still there. Yeah. Or if she's going to pop up somewhere around the corner. You never know. Is this, the, that. is this the Kermis that was Back on? Back to the Kermis. Let's have a look. Should we take a little look? We won't go too deep into it, but it might be fun to have a look at it. Hey, Monica's just joined us from Elkton, Maryland. Hello, Monica. Hello, Monica. All the way to, to Maryland in the USA. Welcome to the Kermit in Macca. Oh, look. Hey. 
man, that is gorgeous. See, there's a whole fair taking place, and all in the shadow of that lovely gate. Look at me just getting onto the gables. Proper gazelle though, actually. Is that a map of Macum? Uh, not of Macum, it's of uh, this area. Is this, is it south? There's Macum. Is it southwest Friesland? Yeah, there's Macum. That's where we are today, so this is the Isle Mare. Here's Snake, where we sna stayed last night, or in, in Friesian Park. Snits. Snits, We yeah, stayed snake. just on the south of Snake on this little waterline here. Oppenhausen, lovely spot as well. Yeah. Lauren's asking what celebrations happen. I think it's just a Kermis. I think it's just a, a, a street fest. A lot of them yeah, take they place happen. in summer. Most places have one at some point in the summer. For sure. And then the um, the people who run them just move from town to town with their Kermis stalls. We had one in Clunder a few weeks ago. We did. That was the Bradery. That was especially good. Look. Is that a? Oh no, it's a, I thought it was the Dry Hall. Oh, Is that the town hall? Fancy you go on the swings, Rita? Look up there, you see the post and oh, telegraph control. Nice. I don't know if we can get round either around there, so maybe we could walk round. Yeah, we can get around that way. Do you reckon? This might be a bit loud. Roger. Check this out, this is beautiful. So I wanted to reach the water before the end of the tour. Looks like we might do. Welcome. If you have just joined us, by the way, that was the uh, centre of Macon. There's a whole fair going on. Just going to show you where we've come from. Thanks so much for being here as well. We appreciate you coming on the uh, virtual tour and being part of the community. And we hope you enjoy yourself on this little uh, virtual trip to Friesland. Um, so we come out at the end of the time. I'm just going to walk up here because. Ah, okay. I just, I just want to show because we come out to the dike, but you see these houses up there. They're so pretty. Back down that after just about showing. Uh, That's actually, I don't think that one. I'm trying to work out which is which. That looks like the harbour up there. Fancy going up to the harbour? Checking out some ships? That's where we just were. Is it? Yeah. I'm not sure where to go. Where shall we go? It's the end of a long weekend and our brains are frying up. Don't shake me. Come on, let's go find the Achterstraat so we can walk back. Let's see. If, I don't know if we can go right here or not. It's always a bit of an adventure when we come to these little places. Oh, look, this is the Slotmakerstraat, and that looks like the church. Should we, keep, should we go up here? 
Ja? Oh, nice. Hey, sweet, check out that beer. Look at that car, Danny. I don't know what I'm saying, like, I don't really love cars, but I do. Let's keep walking. And if you have just tuned in, we're on a little walk through Mackham. A little adventure at the end of the uh, day here in Friesland. It's been a gorgeous weekend. For all those people who've joined the Explorers Club, uh, then uh, I just want to say thanks to you guys for sponsoring the tour and for us to be able to come up here. It's been an absolute pleasure. It's always a rush because we want to see as many places as possible. Um, but we hope you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't watched the other tours that we've done over the last couple of days, then be sure to check them out. Whoa! What's this? The phone's stilling. Looks like some type of... Oh, is it to do with German resistance? An eight kilometre long defence line was constructed. Oh, really? That during the war? Yeah. It's about the resistance in... in Mac during the German occupation, the half-slope dive remained strategically important for the liberation of the Netherlands. Interesting. It's just a tiny little nook. A little, a little, a little alleyway or something. Them. Very cool. Let's keep walking, see what we can find. Let's see where we go. Leona says she's watched you dance and now she feels like dancing herself. Listen, we're just trying to experience and just sort of have a walk around and get the flavour of Macom. I mean, look at that. Just to experience some of the colours on the on the deep blue sky, it's an absolute pleasure. And coming up to Friesland, you really get this expansive feeling when you drive from place to place. Uh, the roads are very straight and very long. If you've been up here and you've driven up here, maybe you're even from here, then um, share your feedback in the comments. Let us know what you think of the place, of Mackham. Um, we're just having a wander around and seeing what we can see. Do we have nice, a, did, everyone's did arriving they, at the Kermit. Do they have a town hall in Mackham? Do they have a stat I house? couldn't find one when I Googled it. Google often does that. Indeed. So look, look that way. We've got a church up there. Look, look at it. But a what? The church. Looks nice, eh? It looks proper plain, simple church, but I really love it. Especially the colours on the sky, you know, that sort of terracotta colour on the blue sky. Look at that. And again, as you can see, the windows have the boards pointed diagonally downwards oh, yeah, yeah, to reflect yeah. the sound of the bell in the bell tower down to the street so everyone can hear it rather than just shooting the sound off up into the sky. I think this is, can you see all these gladioli down here? Roger's going to love it. Should we take a walk I down I think this there? is Gladioli Street. Yeah, because basically there's, a, there's, a, there's an area in uh, Macum which is a protected village scene, basically. I, I can't quite translate the word, but in Dutch you, they have this sort of category of villages that are protected, so it means you can't just change things about the village. You have to retain the look of the village. And Macum is one of those places. It's a protected village scene. Look at this. We didn't even notice that. that well, look at that. So what you get when you come here... And this is what I was really looking forward to, is to be able to see buildings like this, buildings that sometimes date back to the early 1600s, so over 400 years old. And whether you're into history or not, it just makes the whole town more interesting to be able to come to this place and, and see uh, Dutch heritage like this, especially if you're a visitor from out of town and you're not used to, to seeing stuff like this. I reckon we walk straight down here. I can see some stonking step gables yeah, at the end definitely. of this street. Wait, we need to go past all these bloody old lines. Roger's gonna love it. Look at this, Roger. I love the fact that there's just flowers everywhere in the middle. Look at this. Is that gladioli? Am I getting the wrong name? Just walking along the street. Look at that. Tilly's just joined us. And Marlies Crete is also here. Marlies, lovely to hey. see you. Thank you so much for joining us. We've got the whole gang with us. Brooke Lutz has also joined. Hello, Brooke. Yes. All the way from the USA, we've got the whole gang on board. We're basically having a wander through Macum, uh, which is a very old Oh, they city. do smell. They smell gorgeous. Like, What's this here? They're all the same. They're just... Oh, the plaque. There's something as well. It's like a plaque. Oh, <laughs> oh, Wednesday the 18th of April 1945. What the heck's that? Some sort of, it looks like there's a plaque around, about, around the, lots of different ones around about the town. About the street, yeah, yeah. 
it's like Second World War occupational stories. It's about the Canadians, the North Shore Regiment, Wednesday the 18th of April 9th. I can't quite read it. And you want me to push that? It, nah, it hurts, it's painful. Ah, ooh, it is a bit pricky. Yeah, we can't get to it. Oh, can someone research that? We're going to have to look into that. Wednesday, 18th of April, 1945. Ooh. You can scan the QR code there, but that's the, the nice thing about these towns is they are uh, very focused on telling the story of the of the villages and the towns. And there's a lot of a lot of these information boards around. Absolutely love it. And you really get a feeling of the story of the place. And there's a lots of stories from World War Two and from the occupation and whatnot. So very cool. We're going to have to check that out though. There might be someone who's watching who, who will do it for us. Oh, nice street. 1717, that building next to you is from. Hey. Wow. Hey, Vilika's joined us. Have we said hi to Vilika yet? Hello, Vilika. Lovely to see you. She said she was waiting for the notification from Facebook, but didn't get one. Yeah, Facebook isn't 100% reliable, and unfortunately, we don't have the power to, uh, <laughs> to, to make them be better. Do check your emails, though. If you are part of our club or you sign up to our email list, then you will receive an email before tours like this, and I tend to notify people via that. And if you are part of our Explorers Club, then you'll get a personal notification from me on WhatsApp. So do make sure that you're part of that, really, because we don't want you guys to miss a thing. Look at these buildings here. Beautiful. Ah, they're not gladioli, they're hollyhocks. Holly Thanks, Tilly. Hollyhocks. I think hollyhocks. See, look, more... <gasps> look at how pretty is that. More hollyhocks. We're back to almost where we started, it but I think we'll like go... It we'll... national flower hollyhocks. We should go along here and then turn left. Yeah. That's where yeah. we did go And I'd go love before. an ice... I'd quite like an ice cream as well, even nice. <laughs> You'd yeah. always like an ice cream. Yeah, I know. This building here is from 1643. We were just looking at it earlier. Can you also see for sale. Oh, I could see you in that Some, pink. Uh... Margaret Anthony's with us from Virginia. I could definitely see you living in there. 1643, loving that. Uh, Laura Calamine Parson has also just joined us. Laura Parson, lovely to see you all the way from Nebraska. Thanks for being with us on the uh, on the virtual tour. So we're going to walk back. This is the VAR that we looked at before. And we walked straight on then, didn't we? On Wigmaker Street. Wig on on Wigmaker Street. But what we'll do now is we're going to turn left and uh, have a little look down there. Nice. Maria Morrison's just joined us. Hello, Maria. Lovely to see you. Thanks for being with us in Macum. M-A-K-K-U-N. So I was saying about the protected village, and this is what I'm talking about, this whole area will be under sort of legislated protection so that you can't just change the way it looks. If you do build something new, you have to make sure that it's in keeping with the, uh, with the style. Because as you can see, uh, it's an extremely old and pretty and good looking and well kept centre. And of course, when you put so much effort into maintaining it, you don't simply want uh, someone to come in and do whatever they want and build whatever they want because it ends up looking a bit unsightly so they've kept it very nicely and this is all protected heritage which is fantastic. Hurley Brusca says, so quaint like you would read about it in a novel. Indeed, I feel I could, could write a novel about all these places. I should write a book, shouldn't Ooh. I? The Hidden Holland Beyond Amsterdam, Ooh. The Guide. If you think that's a good idea, drop a comment. And if we Yvonne, get enough people saying it, maybe I will. Who knows? <laughs> Yvonne Michael, McCroon Lynch is loving the flowers. Fantastic. Thanks for, Holly Hawks. Thanks for being here. I Yvonne. need to remember that name because I really like them. Hollyhocks. Right, which side should we walk down, though? That's always the question. I'm thinking maybe this side because maybe yeah. we can... If we walk down this side, maybe we can hook back up onto the harbour over that way. Ah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so let's let's take a walk down here. Good thinking. And those are beautiful as well. These are these are my one of my favourite flowers. Oh yeah, the you do. Love these. Beautiful. these also smell nice. <sighs> and just the view. Uh, again, we started earlier on. We're just sort of looping around, but the view is spectacular. Annika uh, Dato is asking, what is that greenery in the canal? It's some little islands made for the birds, so that they can be safe from any land animals and they can nest their um, ducks or other birds and be safe from any, I don't know, like otters, not otters, stoats. Yeah, who knows? 
Well, that's obviously... Rats. I don't know if it's for birds. Is it for birds or who knows? Look at that's built in the middle of the water. Maybe, maybe it is for rats. Amandine Catio is with us. Oh, great to see you, Amandine. She says, a really cool. beautiful place. Lisa Street says, must go. Thanks, Bob and Adele. We'll try and watch the West later. Thanks, Lisa. Lovely to join you. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks for popping in and seeing us. Have you seen these gorgeous, huge shutters over the way? It's been lovely to have you here. On the, uh, on the windows? Yeah, they're so nice. So we'll keep walking down here because I think on the other side we'll get, get to see. There's a couple of spectacular looking places up there. Carol likes the idea of the book. Carol Boss. Oh, thanks, Carol. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Yeah, let's walk over there. Look at that. So let's do a roll call. If you're still on this tour, live, or if you're watching the replay and you've got this far, um, drop in uh, your feedback now, either via a comment or via uh, an emoji. What were you hawing at? I was hawing at. Jenna Wilson has just put a comment in. She said, your book with your drawings and paintings. Oh, that sounds like a Ooh, nice idea. Absol nice. I, love, I absolutely love drawing buildings like this. I think that the buildings of the Dutch Renaissance period are absolutely gorgeous. You've definitely acquired a lot of buildings to draw for when we get back home, <laughs> haven't you, over the weekend. I mean, if You've you're... just been like saying, I want to draw that, I want to draw that. Indeed. <laughs> and if we have any other fans of Dutch architecture, Dutch homes, Dutch gardens, Dutch buildings, uh, then I'd love to hear from you Look because there's, there's a growing one. amount of people in our community who are oh. massive fans of, oh my word, who are huge fans of the style of architecture that came out of uh, 1500s and 1600s uh, Holland, you know, and uh, one thing that was, they really focused on was harmony. Harmony was a huge part of uh, the philosophy of life in the Dutch Republic, uh, and that's why when you look at a lot of these houses, they have a very symmetrical or parallel... Um, aesthetic beauty to them oh, it's gorgeous and you see this one here i don't know what year it's from but it definitely looks like it looks old 50, uh, late 1500s it's got yeah, a mouse tooth gable on it i can't see a date on it and then as we turn around here look look at the little kiddies paddling in the water that is so nice and if we can we just put the binoculars on guys because we're not going to walk down there but what we can do is we can put the binoculars we can on virtually virtually yeah walk. we can virtually walk down the car or fly it's a bit like flying i guess i guess this is the key side and this is the, uh, the piece of water where the ships would have um, sailed into friesland mm. uh, bob de croak thinks those houses were for pigeons on the water could well be uh, Diana Buffalo Crow is with us and she says the view is amazing. It's such a beautiful village. It is, isn't it, Diana? Glad you're with us. Uh, Jim Backer says, aren't you already creating a guide? Not Come yet, on, Bobby, quick sticks. Uh, along with the That's not what things, says. Jim. No, I think I'm he means kidding. like we have mentioned it before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, 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 the, the idea has, uh, has popped up before, but uh, the... The drawings would be a new element yeah. now, wouldn't they? I think we can walk around this way, you know. Yeah. I think we can walk around this way, and hopefully we'll, at 4 p.m. we'll get a, awesome. a ringing of the church we bells. We just passed some, some young ladies with, with ice, ice cream. With ice cream, I know. I saw. <laughs> oh, look, that, more. We both spotted the ice cream. Oh, oh, oh wow. wow. Look at this. This is oh, Mac on everyone. Oh, my God, this is 360. I have to get a 360. Holy smokes. Ja, voor mij ook een reis hoor. Ik ben op de weg terug naar Ik ben op de weg terug Ik ben op de weg terug naar Ik ben op de weg terug naar it's a very quiet Sunday afternoon today. It's my favourite time of the day to come and explore the Netherlands. And it's a pleasure that you've been able to join us today in, uh, in Macom to just come and check this place out. This is obviously the, one of the harbours where the, the ships would have uh, docked. There's lots of warehouses and lots of fan, fine old houses here. Look at these gables. We've got, also got a gable stone in there. If we zoom in and we put our binoculars on, you can actually see that there's a beautiful set of shutters on this building along with the step gable but on the front of it there that is a, what we call a gable stone can you guys see that and these were stones which were placed on the buildings by the rich merchants and the, and the patrician families of the of the uh 
of the town to sort of give the houses a unique feel and they often named them, named the houses. This was before house numbers were introduced in the Napoleonic era after 1795 here in the Netherlands. Before then, they used to give the houses names and they'd put these gable stones on them. So if you ever walk through Amsterdam or you walk through somewhere like Horen or Enkhuizen, uh, one of these older Dutch, um, Dutch cities, try and have a look look up that's my tip look up when you're walking through the netherlands because you will see the most amazing things some of the most oldest buildings you might not even realize that they're old and historic but they are hey del i will give you a shout out as well we're still live uh, and if you are still with us then please leave a little comment grace man is still here joan hannah brownlee all the way from ontario canada you're with us we're going to keep walking and hopefully We'll find an ice cream uh, parlour. Just take a little, little look down that street before we go. Because I know I know that if you're like any of our members, you love these Dutch-style bridges. Look at that. Can you see the flags flying in the, in the foreground? It's just a relaxed Sunday afternoon, you know. And while I lived outside the Netherlands, I would have, I would have done anything to be able to experience this. Uh, and now we live here, we've been living here for three years. Um, and I, it's my pleasure to be able to do this. This is a live experience. Uh, and if you want to share any stories or ask any questions or ask any anything about uh, Macum, which is the place we are today up in Friesland, then you can do so. It's uh, your chance for an hour or so to step into the Netherlands and enjoy the, the gezellig atmosphere of this gorgeous town. It is gorgeous. Let's go get some ice cream. Let's try and finish with ice cream. Oh. Come on. It's so nice. Yes. What I love is there's different, there's obviously different harbours here in Macum because it's very famous for its locks and so it's like the gateway to the Zouderzee it was called. So there's obviously been a lot of seafaring history and sort of seafaring heritage. And so you get these amazing grachten, but it's not actually a town. It's actually a village, you know, which is amazing. Hey. <laughs> hey. It's actually a village as opposed to a town, that's what they say. So it's lovely to have had people here and especially to those people who have supported us through becoming members of the club like Patricia van der Valt and Johannes van der Valt. Thank you guys for being with us. Hey. Uh, Jennifer has said, what a lovely way to spend a Sunday. That is so nice and that's what we try and do. We would try and give you guys an experience of the Netherlands no matter where you are in the world. You might be in Florida, you might be in Sydney, Australia. You might be in London, UK, it doesn't really matter. You know, what we want to try and do is, through this live experience, give you an experience of being here. So it's a lovely place, isn't it? Where, yeah. can, where do you think we can get ice cream? I reckon on the main street. If we we haven't actually street. walked up the main street. Because the bell's going to go in a minute as well, Ooh. I think. We've got this antique shop here as well. And you can see, you know, I was talking about the tiles and the, uh, and the famous pottery of Macum. Well, this is obviously an old antique store here. And I imagine you're a fan of Dutch antiques, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which sells this type of stuff. So have a quick look in here, and then we'll go get some ice cream, okay? Look, Tichela, this is the this is the company that makes the tiles. Very famous, old company. You've got the Delfs tiles as well. Delfs Aardewerk. 17th to 19th century, half price. Check that baby out. And so, I imagine if you're a fan of the Dutch uh, way of life, you are probably also a fan of things like the Delft Blue stuff here, look at that. So this is an antique store here in Macum that sells the famous pottery that is made here yeah. or, and was made here much more often in the past. There's only a couple of couple of artisans left. Oh wow, that's so great. Look, there's a sign there. Can you see in okay? Oh man, we've got to come back here. Aardewerk is the name for pottery in Dutch. Makoma Aardewerk. See that? Look. Do drop in a comment. We've probably got a few Delft Blue collectors as well. So if that's you, please uh, tell us your story in the in the comment section. Look, we've got all this here. Man, then we've got a little bit more here. Look, there oh, the windmills. Got mini molens. We've got those for sale in our store, haven't we? They're yeah, gorgeous. Ours are in a bit better ones. condition than that. Yeah, one. those are a little bit faded but from this, being in the sun. This, this seems to be like an antique store, though, as well, so it sells older stuff. Not just. Yeah, well, I don't even think there's anything new in there. That looks like. <laughs> that's like typical Macum style. You see this floral design. Patricia says, very lovely shop. 
Tilly's ordered a coffee ice cream with chocolate sprinkles, please. <laughs> nice call. Uh, Randy Collier says, I'll take those gables. <laughs> Brilliant. Fan Bass says, Molens, baby. <laughs> Uh, Rita Stoffer says she could get lost in this store. It's, it's, a very, very, it's also a cute store as well. Look, here's the entrance. Man, we've got lots of people with us today in Mackham. That's very cool. If you have just joined us, then welcome to Friesland. Uh, we're going to go get some ice cream now. If you've just hey, tuned yeah. in, then you've got a whole tour to watch through the village. So make sure you rewind the tour when you finish and uh, watch the rest. But hopefully now. Brenda says she could spend an hour in that shop. Oh, and um, Paul Van Bass says my Molen set that he got from us is amazing. Thank you, Paul. That's and so cool. And we will ha actually be adding some more of those sets to the shop, the new shop that we opened just this week. Yes, baby. If you want to check out our store, you can go to shop.thedutchwayoflife.com. And if you use the code GAZELIG10, you get 10% off. And we've got some wicked Friesland hoodies. We've designed everything ourselves. It's a, a all designed with really great, high-quality stuff. Uh, we've got some Friesland hoodies. Uh, we've got other provinces as well. So go check it out. Oh, is that the bell? Oh, baby. Yes. Very cool. There we go. That was the 5 p.m. bells. Nice one. So uh, a nice gentle bell there. You never know what to expect. What bell's gonna? What's it gonna be? Be good to finish. Is it gonna be intense? Is it gonna be jingly? You must be a fan of the bells as well. <laughs> Listen, um, we're gonna finish up with some ice cream. Oh, look at this place. It's gorgeous. Right. Where? So can where I do see? you think we can go? Oh. Do we have to go into? Is Does that... that look like ice cream on that sign? It says lunch room, but it looks like ice cream. Should we go and have a look? So there's a whole oh, fair. There's, there's an Ollie Ball and Sand there. There's a whole on the fair right. going on here today. And we're Ollie going to try Boller. not to get too much in, into it. We're going to look for you some just, ice cream. You're just worried you won't be able to resist and you'll just hop on one of the rides true. with it's the camera. True. <laughs> it is true. But I think this looks like they do ice cream at the there's end. There's a there. picture of ice cream, so if you don't Put in your order cream. now. We're going to finish with some ice cream. Put in your order now. Tell us what type of ice cream you want. Ice cream on a Sunday is, is something that I love doing. And it's so nice to be out here in Friesland. If you enjoyed the tour today as well, share some feedback in the comments. Make sure you tag someone who you might think might, you think might enjoy the video. Maybe they're from Friesland or they've got family in Friesland. Um, and if you'd like to support us, please think about joining the club. It's the way that we continue our work. And without the members who've decided to become paid uh, subscribers, we wouldn't be able to do this. We wouldn't be able to take you for free around the Netherlands. Have you got some money? Uh, yeah, I've got some money. Sweet. What should we have? Oh, oh, nice. oh these you. are the flavours. So put in your orders now, let us know what you're having. Look, Look at that choice. Smurf. What does Smurf mm. taste like? I think I'll have... <laughs> um, I'm going to go for chocolate and... Stracciatella. Ooh. It's very cocoa. Cocos? For me? Look at that, great. Could also have soft ice, which is a oh, big, or you can big call favorite. it bolletje. Bay bolletje. Bay bolletje is plopped, plopped. <laughs> not neat, neat total, if that's wrong. That's bullets, isn't it, in Dutch? Yeah. That's yeah. terrible Dutch for me. Sorry. Oh, welke smaak? Um, chocolade and uh, stracciatella. Look, this is soft ice as well. And again, if you uh, if you're a fan of ice cream, put in your order now, and we'll. We'll shout you it, don't worry. The dad's just getting the getting orders in. Come on, I'll get my purse out. Thank Tilly, you for being with you want, us, Tilly. still want your coffee ice cream, Tilly. She does. Thank you, Rita. Okay. Rita's orders moccasin. Annika's asked for butter pecan. I don't think they've got that. What's it got? Pecan. Butter pecan? No, I'm not sure they've got it's that. It's pistachio. Me. Great little place, though, look. And then you've got the kermis just behind you. Look, great. If you've enjoyed it, please drop in a comment. Thanks everyone for being here. Lauren, thank you for being here too. If you'd like to join the Explorers Club, type the word club now. We'll send you some details and you can join us in Maduro Dam next month. We're doing a special premature tour. Uh, we're also in, uh, where are we next month? Utrecht on the boat with the members, right? Yeah, and Maduro Dam. Sweet. So if you'd like to join the club, drop in a comment, type the word club and you can join our explorers, our adventurous explorers who enjoy exploring the Netherlands with us uh, through our virtual live stream. Bobby, that's oh, yours. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Lekker. Yeah. Oh, it's dripping. It's hot, look at that. That's real ice cream. We've got all the machines are going on. Nice. Great. 
So I think we're almost done, Adele. Oh, there's a nice looking restaurant there, though. Might have to get some fries as well. I think we're done. What do you reckon? What a great walk that was through Macam. Grab your ice cream, let's do it. Thank you for being with us, Maria Morrison. That was a, an hour long walk through Macam here in Friesland. We're going to make our way home now, but if you did enjoy the video, please make sure that you uh, drop a little comment in. We do this, Adele and I, as our main job, our main income, and uh, we sort of dedicated our lives to reconnecting people around the world, to the Netherlands, through our live experiences. So we appreciate everybody who's been with us here today in Macum. I'm going to have to move out of the way because that noise is driving me crazy. I'm going to enjoy this ice cream. Let me try it for you. Let me tell you what it's like. What do we think? It's good? Oh, that's great. Listen, that was Macum. Thank you everybody for being here, whether you've watched live or whether you've watched right the replay. Right outside the ice cream store. Look, thank you Caroline, thank you Brenda, thank you Patricia, thank you Paul, Eric, thank you Lucia, lovely to see you. We're going to be going over that absolute dike today. Thank you Annika from Friesland herself. Uh, lovely to see Woo! everyone from... I nearly lost my ice cream then. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> from Hello. Macum. Hello. Hello. From, yeah. from Macum. All I'll say is look after yourselves. Look after each other, and until the next time, keep it Dutch. Prost. Do a little prost. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, I got a bit of chocolate. Ooh.